been a while since I've spoken to the camera, to any camera really, because in January of 2024, I took my first ever social media content creating break since I started in 2013, 2014, where I launched my first ever YouTube channel that was dedicated to beauty reviews and trying out new beauty products. And that evolved into facials and professional facial treatments as well as ASMR facial treatments. And I got pregnant, it was a planned pregnancy, but then also slightly unplanned in the sense that we were trying to finally have a child, but everything was happening and we didn't know what the world was going to be like, so we were going to put that trying on hold. Unbeknownst to us, I was already pregnant. So it was a lot of mixed emotions and that's where I started this channel to document my pregnancy journey and also dealing with a lot of grief that was coming up because I was pregnant and having to deal with the loss of my mom in a new way. Also feeling very isolated at the time. I ended up developing prenatal depression, pups, as well as having a very difficult labor and delivery, which resulted in an emergency C-section, which then led to a lot of postpartum issues, physically and mentally, that I feel like I might not ever come out of fully. However, after three years, I'm finally starting to feel like a new version of myself. I never took time off, not when my mom had an unexpected stroke that completely changed our world and our lives. And then when I started to recognize the new normal and my new mom who was recovering from the stroke, she passed. I didn't take a break during that time. In fact, I found work. I found being on YouTube was a solace for me, a way to escape, a way to have something else to focus on. And I didn't take a break during 2020. I didn't take a break while I was dealing with prenatal depression. I didn't take a break while I was dealing with pups. I didn't take a break during my postpartum. I took like maybe a week off, but I, again, I was using social media to feel connected and to just Ver verbally vomit or creatively vomit, mind vomit onto the internet to feel less alone, to feel maybe like I could connect with somebody out there. And while it's great, it also caused a lot of anxiety and stress because I was constantly chasing this weird idea of success to be a content creator. I was so focused on numbers because in order for me to be able to make money as a full-time content creator, it was always about the numbers and about engagement. And I hated my myself for that because that's not how I started. And that's not, that's not healthy for my brain. I left an industry specifically because it was unhealthy for my psyche. Discovered social media, discovered YouTube, and that's what I love so much about it. I had control, it made me feel like a part of a community. I was able to create and express in however way I wanted to. And then it started growing and it turned into my full-time job, which I'm so grateful for. As a child, everybody worried about me and what I was gonna do for a living. And I was able to make my passions my living. I'm turning 40 this year and I've been working since I was 14, yeah, almost 30 years, at least 20, where I was either able to make a living doing what I loved as an actor and performer, then a content creator when that burned me out. And so I want to create content. I love creating content. I kept finding myself wanting to edit videos, wanting to take photos and capture things, but instead I started journaling. I started trying to put thoughts to paper. I really love creating. I just wanna make sure I'm creating, not just for myself, but in a way that isn't unhealthy, where it doesn't feel like it's this constant like chasing this to try to feel relevant in a world that I am irrelevant at the end of the day. I'm just one person that if I were to be gone suddenly, the only people that would truly miss me would be my family and friends that are very, very close. And even then grief and time fades all of that. Trying to be relevant in a world where at the end of the day, everybody's irrelevant other than to those who truly love you. Stupid, it's silly. So I need to focus on my personal life and my personal relationships and making sure I'm taking care of my mental health while still using 
video content creating as an outlet for myself and hopefully to find a community of people who need me to help keep them company, whether or not while they do laundry or while they're doing chores and just want to have somebody to keep them company while they're doing that here or helping you guys find the best product for your needs not in an overconsumption type of way but in a mindful consumption which means i am bringing back tester tuesdays to this channel tester tuesdays was an original series on my beauty channel where i would try out new products on camera for the first time now i want to do it in a more mindful way where i'm testing out products for your entire life specifically my entire life like i started doing that on this channel with testing out breast pumps stroller wagons and shoes and things like that that i was looking for and trying to find the best one of and then sharing that information with you so that if you were looking for those things that you could watch my videos and get a really detailed review of a product and compare and contrast to what you were looking for and make the best decision for you, your family, and your finances. I definitely think money is something that we don't talk about enough in a realistic manner, especially as people who freelance or have a tough time budgeting because they were freelance and always using that as the excuse because we don't know what money's coming in when or if we think it's coming in brands are notorious for paying late never get paid up front in fact you get paid anywhere between 60 to 90 days later after you've created the work and delivered it there's no deposit nothing like that and a lot of the times brands are notorious for being over 30 days late on their brand payments. Imagine not getting paid for the work you've done for almost four or five months. So that sucks. And it's also why I wanted to feel validated for the work I was doing and why I went and started working at a Legree studio. I am now a fitness instructor for Legree. I'm a level two Legree certified instructor. I'm also a certified nutritionist through Precision Nutrition as well as a health coach. I don't really love coaching people with their nutrition and their health because it becomes very psychological and taxing on me. I really care about the people I coach privately and it's a lot of mental capacity and emotional capacity that sometimes I just don't have the the bandwidth for. So when I do private coachings, it's a small select amount that I do. And I have more joy in helping people feel strong and accomplished in the immediate, which is physical fitness. It's why I really fell in love with Legree and the community and why I ended up becoming an instructor myself. I love the studio I ended up with. I think it was fate that I ended up where I ended up. And I love my clients. I love them so much. So it's been the most gratifying and fulfilling job I've had in the sense of not only do I get paid consistently, I get paid for my time, but I also feel like I'm adding value to someone's life. And that's what I want to do. I want to make sure I'm constantly adding value to the people around me and feeling gratified in the work I'm doing. I know like jobs aren't all about feeling fulfilled because sometimes it just needs to be a paycheck, but I don't want content creating to ever feel like that for me. I want to feel truly authentic and love what I do again. So I think taking January off was really important for me and to come back on here and kind of relaunch this channel. So you'll see Tester Tuesdays where I try out products that have been catching my eye or that I'm curious about and kind of using this channel as an excuse to buy it and test it out for you so you know whether or not you're even going to look at it next time you see the ad or next time you walk by it in the store and then i'm going to do a weekly kind of sit down video or vlog style video you will still see the nugget quite a bit but as she's getting older as she's living her own life see how that plays out i'm not somebody who's going to be super strict about keeping her completely off the internet because i just don't think that's realistic in today's age. I also want her to grow up savvy about the internet and understanding that there's cameras everywhere. I also want to protect her childhood as much as possible. I also love filming her for my own reasons and my own per my own memories. I have this fear of forgetting. I have this fear of like losing these memories, maybe because of my life, my childhood, but I have very little 
photos and videos of my childhood, even though my mom did everything to try and preserve them. But because of circumstances and he who shall not be named, I don't have access to those. I have this constant fear of needing to take photos and videos and to compile them somewhere so that they are somewhere if I lose them on my phone, if I lose them on my hard drive, that I will still have a glimpse of these. I also am so regretful that I don't have more videos and more photos of my mom. So yes, I will be sharing bits and pieces of the nugget because she is such a huge part of my life, but this channel is me and she is just a part of me, just like Chris is a part of me, Chance and Reese are a part of me. This isn't a family vlog channel necessarily, it's just my channel where my family makes guest appearances. I think as parents, we're all just trying to navigate and do our best. She is very vocal for her age, very, very vocal, and tells me exactly what she wants. One of my Christmas presents from Chris is this adorable little Marshall speaker that charges so I can have it in the loft with my record player that YouTube actually gave me last Christmas or I can bring it in the bedroom so I don't have to be in silence while doing laundry. I am so excited. Okay, so I love Notarium products. They're such great, effective quality for the price point. I love that they're available on Target as well. I've gone through so many of this Biolipid Restore Body Lotion. So I love that it comes in a pump. It's just great. It's great to put on during the day and get dressed right away because it doesn't cause any issues. New to me, I really wanted to try the Glow Getter Multi Oil Body Butter. So new to me, it's the Brightening Vitamin C Body Wash. I love their oil uh, glow one that I have gone through, I think two or three of those as well. And then this is the Skin Renewal Retinol Body Lotion that comes in a pump. I went through the regular packaging, which was a squeezy tube, so very excited for the larger option with a pump. So excited to try this vitamin C complex cleanser. This is one of their newest cleansers, their multi-peptide advanced serum. This is also a newer product. Really excited to add this to my routine as well. Yeah, I got you. Hey, you're welcome. That's okay. You can tell him no if you don't want him to touch you. Don't touch me. Okay, baby. Are you done washing? You gotta rinse that. Out of your school clothes. Is who's who is that? Uh, Pacho. I know, but which doggy is it? Do you know? Paris. Paris? Yeah. Oh, that's Paris. That's very cool. What? So we'll go get a snack. But do you want me to read the book or no? Yes. Okay. Oh, sorry. That's okay. On the farm, touch and feel. That's so cozy. That's so cozy, yeah. yeah. My jacket. Like your jacket? Goofy goes nose to nose with the cutie of a cow. Touch the cow's nose. How does it feel? Good. Good. How does it feel? Smooth? With a little bump? Yeah. There's so much fun to touch and feel, do you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, want a snack? Yeah. What do you want? Want some apples and cheese? Yeah. Where did she go? Yeah. Well, she's at home, but Auntie Jenny sent you something in the mail from John, from them. I want to come I she did it to pie. <laughs> you want to close your eyes so it's a surprise? Okay, close your eyes. Okay. Oh, fancy. Auntie Jenny sent us a Dior box. Wow. Is <gasps> mine? Yeah, I think that's yours. 
Oh, I think. Oh my gosh! I think this is mine. Wow! I like it, Mama. Wow! I love it. I like it. You're welcome. Yeah. Thank you. What wow! Is that? Ooh. 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 Can you say thank you, Auntie Jenny? Thank you, Auntie Jenny. <laughs> what Holy is it? Look at this. I'm freaking out, Jenny. Thank you so much. I have to unbutton this. Autograph? Yeah, I think these are, she must have copied the autograph. I have a heart. That's so cool. Mom, um, I have a heart. You have a heart full of sugar. And it has the Mickey. Wow. We ran out of sourdough bread and I'm proofing it in the fridge to make later tonight. If you guys don't know, I make sourdough bread every week. So I'm just gonna use a croissant for my sandwich. Because we're out of bread and mommy has to bake it, so it's gonna be a couple hours before it's ready. So I just thought I would be a genius and put I love it. That cake, cake. You like what? I like my heart. You love your heart? Well, that's good. Next time we see Auntie, you, you, Jenny, and Charlie, you have to say thank you, okay? I already sent a video, but you have to say thank you when you see them. I love this Our Place Wonder Oven. It has replaced a toaster, an air fryer, and a toaster oven. It reheats, it broils, and I love this little steam function up here where you just add a little bit of water. It reheats your food and doesn't have it get like crusty or taste like it's been reheated. It's really, really good. And I love that it replaces so many appliances in one and it doesn't hurt that it looks adorable. Dover pork shoulder carnitas from dinner last night as my filling. Been really trying hard to meal prep and meal plan so that we eat at home more for health reasons as well as for financial because we would spend a lot of money at groceries every week and go out to eat just because we were tired and didn't know what to make or we weren't very intentional with our cooking. So I do an Instapot protein that kind of lasts us for two or three days on Monday nights because I work and so does Chris late and this way we have a dinner ready a hot meal ready for when it's time for dinner and then it's easy and it lasts us a couple days for lunches and just snacks if we're still hungry yeah me too yeah you too I got a what I got my M&M's. You got your M&M's? I got my M&M's. M&M's? I got my M&M's. I've been making a heartier salad, like this grinder salad that I found online from one of the bloggers uh, through TikTok and I followed her on Instagram. And it's Violet Winchell, I think is her name. I will put her across the screamer in the description. But I made a grinder salad. Chris ate most of this. I still have another container of it. So add some fiber and some veg to our meals. It's easy. I just filmed a review about using TikTok Shop and some of the first products I ever purchased from TikTok Shop. All of those products are like at least three months old now. So I feel like I'm gonna give you a really good review on those products and as well an overall review of how TikTok Shop has worked for me. I have a bunch of product back there, if you can tell, that has come in and I need to sort it. So let's just do a quick little unboxing in this vlog. If you know me, you know that I used to get a ton of product in the NPR, but I've definitely asked them to stop sending me stuff and I moved so a lot of stuff doesn't get to me anymore. The stuff I do get are from brands I really, really love or things I'm really interested in and I say yes to, but I've definitely cut back because I think it's really wasteful. I'm not gonna get to the products. It's wasteful for me, it's wasteful for the brand and it's a lot of like shipping and stuff for them and it costs money. I got this Kosas concealer kit. I love Kosas. You guys know I loved Kosas when they were back with their old packaging. So they relaunched some of their concealers with I think a bunch of new shades and they sent me some of the newer shades. There's now 38 concealer shades from Kosas which is really cool and I've been a huge fan of this concealer since day one. I think I was one of the first people to review it on my beauty channel. These Thrive Cosmetics lip plumping lip glosses which i'm interested in they're pretty cool they come in four different shades hoping they're not like super spicy you know that spicy feeling when they're plumping skin fix 
Triple Lipid Collagen Activating Serum. I love Skin Fix. Now my dear friends over at Life Element, we used to carry them in our CBD shop, but we had to close the CBD shop down. This is their muscle and joint relief, which was something we carried in the shop. And then they sent over recovery bath salts for me because you know, my life. Lunar bath salts, magnesium and CBD, 300 milligrams. You use the whole bag. And some of their lip goop, which is so good. I'm always needing some lip balms. NARS actually sent me something recently and I'm really excited to test this out. I'm a huge fan of NARS. And the day I first received NARS products, I was like, oh, there are their afterglow liquid blushes, which I actually was really interested in because I love me a liquid blush. They're Argon. And then these are really, really red. Ooh, I'm a little scared. They're the liquid blushes. Secret Lover and then the Orgasm Rush. But I'm also wearing a red blush right now. I'm wearing the Tower 28 and Kung Fu Panda 4 collab. And at first I was like, oh wow, that's really red. But I actually like it, I'm digging it. And then they sent over the Afterglow Central Shine Lipstick. I think this is a new to me formula. And this one's in high gear. I'm not gonna open all of the shades. And I don't keep all of the shades. I keep the shades that I know I'm most likely gonna get to or am interested in, and then I donate what I'm not gonna get to, or I give it to friends. I have friends have first dibs, and then I donate everything else. And then this is the NARS Afterglow Irresistible Eyeshadow Palette. I feel like eyeshadow palettes are gonna come back soon, and I don't even know if I like wearing eyeshadow anymore. I like a wash of color these days versus what I used to do in like 2016. This is really pretty though. Oh, this is totally calling my, this is calling me. I love these colors. They're like these warm, rich browns and burgundies. And I love NARS shimmery shadows because they give me that like wash of shimmer. It's very refined, very elegant. Definitely gonna keep that with some other colors. Pharmacy sent over their Brightening Up 3% THA Dark Spot Toner with Azelic Acid and PHA. So I really like Pharmacy Beauty. However, their newest, um, resurfacing lotion that you're supposed to use like once or twice a week that one kind of irritated my skin so i'm a little scared to try out any of their acids right now just because my skin didn't really love it which is weird because i loved the honeymoon glow but their green clean is great that's their cleansing balm honey halo is great with their ceramides moisturizer wake up honey eye cream brightening vitamin c that's new to me so i'm excited to test that out and i think that's everything i have oh maker sent over their newest perfume called Lover for February. Let's see if I like it. I'm very picky when it comes to fragrance. Hmm, that's interesting. It's not what I would think Lover would be smelling like, but it's good, it's good. I actually think this is very masculine. I'm not hating on that. I actually enjoy a masculine scent. That's not something that when you like walk through Macy's and want to gag, but actually like a masculine scent that's really refined and well thought out versus just like overwhelming generic cologne through the men's section at Macy's. Do you know what I'm talking about? That's everything that I've gotten in PR so far. I did get some stuff from Tower 28. It's on my face because I love Tower 28. They're like good, good products. Oh no. Okay baby, your pasta's here if you want it. You wanna say hi to the vlog, baby? Yeah. I got a cookie. You got a cookie? <laughs> Thank you, Mom. You're welcome. I'm gonna see Noelle's dad tomorrow morning. Yeah, oh, really? me yeah. too. Are you training? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, because I have to leave. I missed you. I missed you. Did our coffee come yet? Uh, no, and it's just technically now late. Mom? Yeah, baby? I love it. You what? I love it. You love it? I have one. Scratch my foot on the front of that door. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> You're so silly. 